Kamusta mga bright minds? Welcome sa unang episode ng Jube's Venture na kasahan ito. Feature ko ang aking dream camera dito sa Henry's Camera. But first, let's roll the intro. Abos, wala pa po tayong intro. Eh, eh talaga? O nga pala, first episode natin ngayon, no? Alam ko na, gawa tayo yung intro ngayon. So mga Pride Minds, nandito tayo ngayon sa popular na shop kilala sa pagbabenta ng electronics at photography equipments ang Henry's Cameras Henry's is a Canadian electronic retailer that sells a variety of photography, video, and related technology-based products. Henry's is known in the Canadian photographic industry as a source of imaging technologies and well-informed imaging experts. In other words, dito matatagpuan ang iba't ibang klase ng kagamitang pandigma kagaya ng microphones, stabilizers, lights, lens, drones, camera accessories, and multimedia products. Pero syempre, hindi mo mawala dyan ang highlights natin for today, ang cameras ni Kuya Henry. Dahil dito rin matatagpuan ang iba't ibang brands ng camera tulad ng Canon, Nikon, Fujifilm, Sony, at iba pa. And our feature brand natin for today is... Canon! For more than 75 years, Canon has been known for pioneering innovative imaging products, one of the world's largest manufacturers of cameras, copiers, and printers. The company maintains its leadership position by continuously innovating new features and technologies. Si Canon ang isa sa pinaka-active na kumpanya pagdating sa pagbibigay ng mga gandang kalibid ng camera, lente, at iba pa. Ngayon, nai-introduce ko sa inyo ang aking dream camera. Here is a Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. Parang Iron Man set lang yung dating ng pangalan, no? Well, Canon EOS 5D Mark IV is a professional grade 30.1 megapixel full frame digital single lens reflex camera succeeding the EOS 5D Mark III and was announced on August 25, 2016. The ISO is expandable up to 102,400, incredible for low light shooting. Kaya din neto mag record ng 4K movies cropped by 1.75 times. MP4 and MOV formats for Full HD and 120 frames per second, you can do smooth slow motions gamit ang DSLR na to. Not just slow motions, you can also do time lapses. This is also great for portrait photography dahil it's sharper and rich in details dahil it is a 30.1 megapixel. Good para sa mga taong madalas mag-shoot ng portraits tulad ko. As for street photography, it's autofocus sa 61 point AF system and 41 of those points are cross-type variants for even great accuracy. In short, this DSLR is a beast when it comes to both photography and videography, but it's a no-no for vlogging because it doesn't have a tilt screen feature. And these beasts here cost up to 212,958 pesos and 24 centavos with 24 to 105 mm kit lens. That's why this is my dream camera. Someday I'll own it, but for now, let's head to the Sasan. Oh, you can't let Sasan. Well, Sasan here is a 700D. EOS 700D, also known as EOS Rebel T5i, is an 18 megapixel entry level DSLR camera with an APS-C size CMO sensor. So, not recommended for daily vlogs and travel vlogs. As for my dream vlog camera, this Canon M50 here is my dream camera. Canon M50P is perfect for vlogging because it's very portable considering its weight of 390 grams. Hindi mo akalaan may dalawang camera sa gaan. Also, this camera is very compact. Maliit lang siya pero huwag mong mamaliit na kaya niyang gawin. Dahil unlike 700D, it's a 24 megapixel APS-C theme sensor. And it can shoot 4K! Stig, di ba? It has a built-in wireless, meaning you can use your phone to operate MP3 and transfer photos directly to your phone. Not to mention, it can also shoot portrait photographs once na kinabitan mo siya ng portrait lens kagaya ng 50mm. 
Also, it has a tilt screen feature perfect for selfies and, yeah, vlogging. And it costs around 39,598 pesos and 24 centavos with 15 to 45 millimeters kit lens. And 34,318 pesos and 24 centavos for body only. But for me, I'll only buy the body and I'll buy this wide lens here. This EFM 11-22mm for wide angle shots. Para hindi lang kita yung mukha sa akin. Kita rin yung nasa paligid and yeah. And I'll also buy the Rode Video Micro for high quality audio and this real pad here for stabilizers. Perfect na perfect for daily vlogs and photography. Pero dahil we're short, financially speaking, we're going to consider buying affordable and good quality vlogging cameras. Para mapag-search tayo ng vlogging career natin. And with that, we have Miss Daniel in here Hello. to explain us what are the cameras and why is it good for vlogging. Yes, we have uh, two models here for vlogging cameras. So, we have for beginners, it's a M100. M100 Pro is uh, only 23,198. So, the advantage is interchangeable lens. So, if you want to be more affordable, yes, um, parang DSLR quality, then magaan na rin siya. So, okay siya for vlogging at the same time, for feature quality, for photo. So, yung papalitan yung lenses niya, pwede pa mag-adapt ng mga lenses na mas magaganda or pang mga long zoom, pang wide angle, or pang portrait. So, meron din naman tayo kung gusto mo may uh, very handy lang, lalo na for travelers, yung mga nagbe-video vloggers. So, meron tayong G7 X Mark II. Si G7 X Mark II, hindi siya interchangeable lang. So, ang advantage niya, handy siya, kahit saan mo dalhin. Okay lang. So, mas lightweight compared kay M100. So, it's the same quality. Megapixel po isa, 20 megapixel. This one po is 24 megapixel. Then, for video recording, is full HD. The same for HD. So, there you have it, guys. We have your G7 X Mark II and M100. It's a good investment for beginner and vlogging enthusiasts like me. So yun yung mga bright minds. I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to. I'll see you on the next episode of Duke's Venture. And laging tatandaan, stay creative and keep on shooting. Hanggang sa muli, bye!